In this video, we're going to implement email verification for newly registered accounts. And again, we're going to be doing this through the Laravel Fortify API. So the first thing we want to do is go and enable this in the features config. So in the config folder, open up your fortify.php config file. And then down the bottom for the features array, just uncomment that email verification. Now we need to let Laravel know we want our users to be verified. So to do this, we need to come under app models and then open up the user model. And as you can see at the top of this model by default, it always brings in this must verify email interface for us. And then to get this working, we just need to make sure our user class implements this must verify email class. So after we extend authenticatable, we can call implements and then we can implement that must verify email interface. Now let's try and register a new user within our application. So as always, I'm just going to clear the cookies out here. So we haven't got a logged in user anymore. And I'm just going to head over to our register route. And I'm just going to fill these details in to register a new user. And then I'm just going to click register. And as you can see, that has registered user and logged us in. But if you head over to your development email, in my case, I'm using MailTrap, which I set up in the previous video, if in case you didn't see that. We can see we've got a verify email address here and this is given a link to the user to verify their email address so the first thing we'll do is actually protect our home route using the verified middleware so if we come under roots and open up our web.php we can see on our home we're already calling our auth middleware so let's pass in an array now and we want to check firstly that the user is authenticated and then we want to check that the user is verified and then the user can only reach this route if they pass these two middleware tests. So let's give this a try. Let's give this a refresh. And this should give us an error. Now, as you can see, because the user is not verified, Laravel has tried to redirect us to forward slash email forward slash verify. And obviously, we haven't set this up yet in the Fortify service provider. So let's jump in and do that next. So in our Fortify service provider, we just need to let it know where the route is that it needs to show the user. And again, it's the same format as all the others. So we're just going to reference that Fortify. And then we need to say verify email view. And again, this accepts a closure. We don't need the request this time, like the reset password view. And we can just return our view. I haven't made this yet, but I'm going to put this one under auth. And I'm going to call it verify hyphen email. And just make sure that I spell verify correctly there. So now obviously we just need to create this view. So we'll come under resources views auth. We're going to copy the login.blade.php file just to make this a little bit quicker because it gives us some of the scaffolding that we'll need. I'm just going to paste that in and then obviously call it verify email.blade.php. And then up the top here, let's just change a few things out. So I'm just going to put in a paragraph of text here saying you must verify your email address. Please check your email for a verification link. Now let's just refresh this in the browser so we can see what we've got. We can see now this is letting the user know they need to press that verification link. Now I've left the form in here because we can also allow the user to send another verification email in case they've lost it or they didn't receive the first one. And to do that, we just need to send a post request off. So let's implement that now. And we need to send a post request to the root verification.send. Now, let me just show you this. So if you just do a PHP arts and root list, you can see since we enabled the email verification, we now have access to these routes. So we need to send a post request to the root with the name of verification.send. And then that is what triggers Laravel Fortify to resend the email verification. So over in our view again, instead of going to the login route, Instead of the login, we want to go to verification.send. This obviously needs our CSRF token. And then we don't actually need any of the inputs. And then for our submit button, I'm just going to label this one resend email. I'm just going to get rid of these items here. And then the final thing we need to do is add in a notification so the user knows that the reset email has been sent. Why can our reset password flow? Laravel Fortify sends a notification back down to the user through a session. So I'm just going to head over to our forgot password view. And you can see here we've got the code built up. So I'm just going to copy this to save some time. So I'm just copying this over. 
And in case you haven't watched the earlier video, this is pretty simple. It's just checking if there's a status within the session. And if there is, it's going to print it out. And Laravel 45 passes this status down for us. So let's just try this out now. Let's give this page a refresh. Let's head over to home and we should get redirected. And you see it does redirect us back to email verify. And it's saying you must have verified your email address. So let's resend the email. And we get that status back verification link sent. So now let's check our development emails. For me this is MailTrap. And you can see here now we have a new verify email address. Email. So now let's just try and verify our email address. So let's click this button. And you can see now we've actually come to our forward slash home route and it's printing our user out like it was before. So that's how you set up email verification within Laravel Fortify. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and give us a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.